The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. So having checked into our hotel and had a much needed shower after two days of laying on deodorant, exercise was required. So we went for a walk along the one street that um, is this town and uh, a little mini hike as such and a little trip on a ski lift which was up to a beautiful spot overlooking Lake Baikal and the port of Lake Baikal just magnificent, very peaceful. We took some nice photos, some artistic photos, and some normal photos. Uh, I was gonna just stand on that bit of rock there. I heard a megaphone. Oh, did you? Mm. I really am not paying enough attention. I must miss so much. So they were obviously swinging it. It'd be better if this chair didn't come off. That is a superb view. Isn't that glorious? It was absolutely spectacular. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a cheap punishment for them because we're not that far away from the gulags. And they know what that means, yes. so they'll shut up. <laughs> well, here they come. Let's see how they're behaving themselves. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Excellent. <laughs> where are you from? Australia. Russia. Australia. Australia. <laughs> I'm Rush. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Sasha. I'm Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall off. <laughs> Hey, he's got two women. Hello. Hello. Lucky man. <laughs> My name is Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what a different look they've got. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, there's heaps of people. chose to eat in the hotel last night. The lady of the, um, of the hotel who seems to be doing all the work, the cooking, the cleaning, the registration, everything, um, said after our guide had asked her that she would be able to provide vegetarian food for me. 
and non-vegetarian food for my other travelling guests. So we were all pretty tired and we went on a bit of recon as is my need and managed to acquire a, another beautiful bottle of red wine and non-Russian and a bottle of Russian wine which we haven't had yet and some dessert wine. So I knew that there was some light at the end of the tunnel, not, but I was still hopeful that I was going to get some good veggie food. Potatoes, cabbage, that's what I'm expecting in this part of the world. So we sat down and um, there were some obvious non-veggie dishes in front of me, but there was a rice dish there which looked good. It had some carrots. Uh, it almost looked like a biryani. It looked, you know, saffron rice. It looked quite, um, uh, I was quite looking forward to it, but I'm, very lucky that on this trip I've got friends who are prepared to make a diagnosis and they're excellent diagnosticians and I think in their working life and in the vegging out with me life and, um, and one of my travel co-travellers detected some meat buried down below the surface of the rice and they were absolutely certain it was meat straight away. None of this textured vegetable protein, which it was a bit unclear texture. It was definitely and obviously meat straight away to their palate, even though it was not obvious to uh, on initial inspection. And so fortunately with the wine we'd bought some cheese and so I had stale bread and cheese for my dinner last night. And um, this was washed down though, fortunately with beautiful Chianti Classico of the Gallo Nero type also known as the black cock, which defines a nice Chianti. So we're very lucky to find that, which is well kept here in eastern Siberia. But it went down nicely, and a, and a Chilean Sauvignon, a late harvest Sauvignon Blanc was quite lovely to finish the meal off. However, on reflection, after walking around the market today, we've seen exactly the same dish with obvious lumps of meat in it. And we've come to the conclusion, well I certainly come to the conclusion that the dish, this is the dish that I had last night. The power was off in the hotel so she couldn't make any food. She, it was a real tough gig for the chef last night and I think what's happened, she's done her absolute utmost to go and get some vegetarian food for me by going to the market, buying this rice dish, taking the meat out and heating it up to the best that she can and presenting that as the vegetarian dish that our guide had asked her to make for me. So it's quite a tough call that um, there's not deliberate deception here. She's tried to make it vegetarian from how she would look at it. There's no meat in it. She's cleared it to the best of her ability and here is some vegetarian food. I'm sure she's thinking we're next to the biggest freshwater lake on the planet. There's beautiful umul fish here to be eaten and this guy doesn't want to eat this delicacy in this only available in this part of the world and she's tried her best to make vegetarian food for me and I do dearly appreciate that. Uh, but still it makes me very wary for my experiences throughout the rest of this journey that even with best intentions and trying to seek some vegetarian food, um, it's, there's going to be a high chance it's going to be a meat dish with the meat taken out to the best of the ability of the chef. We'll have to see how it goes.